Lots of Chow Chin Chows, Josh P. Eats Games here, your coach of the Chester Chin Chows, and welcome back to another week of the IBL, the Indigo Battle League. We are setting up for week three and redemption because we got destroyed against the London City Arcanines last week. And I'm very sorry about that, but apparently it came down to a speed tie. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Just sometimes luck can get you like that. And uh, I was unlucky in a way, really. And I've had a few days, to, I've had a lot of days to think about it now. And I feel better about that match, really. I'm feeling very much better. So let's talk about today's team. So, here we go. First off, we have Donphan, or Nelly the Donphan Shiny now, because the fact is, I caught a shiny one on Saturday. So, yep, Shiny Donphan is now a thing on the team and probably come, might come every week now because I have one. But anyway, this Donphan is an impish nature with 252 in defense, 248 in HP, and 8 in attack with that... Imp uh, with the moves Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Rock Slide, with the sturdy ability holding the Rocky Helmet. Now, this is a very defensive set, and I've decided this might be my starter, depending on what he goes into, because there's some interesting threats on Reckless's team. I'm hoping he doesn't bring things like his Tangrowth and stuff like that. If he decides to start with Tangrowth, I'm quite scared of it, but we will honestly see what happens. Tangrowth is a very scary Pokemon anyway, but Donphan might be able to do something, and I hope that Donphan is going to be good enough to start up, especially if he starts Megalopunny. Donphan would be a great lead to go into Megalopunny. He also would be our next Pokemon. Please welcome, making her Chester Chin Chow's debut, Jessie the Wobbuffet. I know Chibi's going to hate me for this one, but Jessie the Wobbuffet, female Wobbuffet as always, with Shadow Tag for the ability, holding the leftovers because I'm trying to build a bulky set. It's got 252 in special defense as well as 252 in defense and 4 in HP, holding that bold nature. So this is a very defensive Jesse the Wobbuffet with Mirror Code, Counter, Encore and Destiny Bond to be extra. Extra, 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 extra offensive to people. So yes, Jesse is here. Jesse is going to this. Jesse is possibly going to do nothing and then destroy people because she did nothing. <laughs> hey, she's going. She did nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with Jesse. She's perfect. So Jesse, if you need to take someone down, you take someone down. You take them down with you, though. That's what I'm taking. That's what I'm saying. You take them down with you. And then we have Charlotte. I probably should make you female and call you Charlotte. But I forgot to do that. So you know what? I can't spell Charlotte. I'm not going to even draw. I'm not even going to try. I'm really not even going to try. So I'm not even going to try. Out. I'll fix that later. Don't worry. Probably my it, my Jenna's uh, Darude's probably gened it right. I know he is. I know he's gonna not gen it as a Garvantua. It's gonna be Charlotte. He knows Char. He knows Charlotte, so it'll be fine. Anyway, so we have Charlotte the uh, uh, Garvantua with a Focus Sash, Compound Eyes, and this time you're gonna hit the Compound Eyes Thunder. because last time you didn't hit the Compound Eyes Thunder. Last time we tried this set against Blue Jay, it got us destroyed and we didn't hit that compound ice thunder and we should have hit it because it's compound ice thunder how do you miss a compound ice thunder that's unlucky anyway so yeah we got compound eyes we have thunder we also have sticky webs energy ball and book buzz on this move set too so really interesting move set really looking forward to this this thing has a jolly nature as we look at the stat, actually no, this thing has a timid nature, sorry. But again, plus speed, minus attack, but doesn't really need to worry about that attack. And really, Garvantua's attack stat is pretty rubbish anyway, so it doesn't really ever need to worry about that. It's got 192 in, it's got 192 in speed, 4 in special defense, 252 in special attack, 4 in defense, and 
56 in HP. Very interesting set here, but I like it and it, it works out pretty nicely. So I think it could work out really well and I'm hoping that Charlotte will do some damage this week really well. Then we have Marilyn the Azumarill, holding a citrus berry with huge power and this week we went big. Me and the Rude thought it was time. And I don't know if we can pull this off, but this is going to be rather interesting. If we can pull this off, oh my god, the amount of carnage that Maryland is going to cause is going to be seen for weeks. There will be a, the amount of blood that Maryland will put onto people will make Maryland from a blue to a red instantly. Because we are going Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Belly Drum, and Flacade. The idea is for us to Belly Drum here and get the uh, HP back using the Citrus, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. And if we, uh, uh, from there, we can Aqua Jet and Play Rough and do a lot of damage to things. And of course, if we got Status Ailment at any time, there's always Flacade. We don't really need the move, but there's always, it's always there just in case. Flacade is a good move for that. But anyway, as we look at its stats here, it's got 248 in HP, followed by 252 in attack and 8 in speed with that adamant nature. Very much looking forward to this thing. So cannot wait to see what this does. Uh, these are all at level 100, so uh, these stats are all at level 100. I know that we do, uh, I know they'll be down to 50 when we go into the battle. But you don't need to worry about what uh, you don't need to worry about what the stats will become when they're at level fifty. You don't need to worry about that. I need to worry about that. You don't, just don't need to worry about that. Then we have Nook Day, the Mega Charizard X with Tough Claws, a different set for this week, and I really like this one. So this is uh, a really interesting set. We got Dragon Dance, we got Flare Blitz, we got Dragon Claw. So we could we could Mega Dragon Dance, and then we could Dragon Claw, or we could Flare Blitz, and that'd be really cool too. And if our HP is low, especially because of Recall that Flare Blitz does, it's always Roost. So Roost is a move that can get our HP back. Yeah, sure. Actually, wait. It doesn't do a darn thing to Charizard because he's Fire Dragon. If he was Fire Flying, it would take away my Flying weakness, uh, my Flying type. But the fact is, with Dragon typing, it doesn't do a darn thing. I'm still Fire Dragon. Roost doesn't do a darn thing. So that's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, Roost is going to be amazing. Cannot wait to use this set. It's going to work out really nicely. As we look at its stats here, it's got 192 in speed, followed by 8 in special defense, 252 in attack, and 56 in HP, holding the jolly nature. So very much looking forward to seeing what a new day the Charizard can do. Different set to what I usually run, but I think it's worth risking it here and seeing what happens. And finally, we have Swift. Swift the Gorbis uh, is not going to be shiny because I have not found a shiny. I have not found a shiny Gorbis as of yet. But I will. I will. I need to hunt down that. Anyway, a uh, shit. Swift the Gorbis is a interesting set this week. Uh, we got the 252 in speed, the 4 in the special defense and the 252 in special attack this time holding a timid nature with the white herb to get away any stat drops that we have especially from uh, shell smash with the swift swim ability because it's the only really good ability the other is hydration and again they're both based on rain so if you don't put up the rain it's not really really worth having an ability on uh, Gorobis really uh, but yeah we have shell smash scold ice beam and baton pass so, of course, again, we're going for the uh, Shell Smash Pass uh, facility. We've got uh, Scold and Ice Beam. So, it's a very interesting set. Can do some serious work. I would have liked to have ran Sub, but the fact is, the only Pokemon we could have ever subbed up on would have been a Suicune. And really, do you want to try and set up a Sub on a Suicune? No. No, that's a bad idea. That's a very, very bad idea to try and set up a Sub on a Suicune. Anyway, 
this is where I'm going to switch over to uh, switch over and show you guys the team that my opponent has. And this week I'm going to do it a little different than I usually do. So yeah, I'm just going to run it. I'm just going to bring it over now. So here we go, and here is their team. So from A tier, they got hold of Victini. From B tier, they got hold of uh, Suicune. And they got hold of Crocodile and Tangro from C tier. From D tier, they got rid of, they got Drapion. From E tier, they got a good spinner and Sand Slash. Their Mega is Leg of a Pony. And their three picks were Tornadus T from A tier, uh, Cobalion from uh, C tier, Sock and Electifier, both from D tier. So very interesting. So uh, Sock as a very interesting move set to run with. Plus, it's got Sturdy there, so Sturdy is a thing. Um, I just need to check my Discord. I do have a message from uh, Reckless saying that we're probably going to be battling soon. Uh, yeah, so I will be uh, doing that in a minute. But yeah, Sturdy is a thing, so yeah, uh, that's what we got to worry about with uh, Sock. We've also got Electivire there, which is going to be interesting to you, uh, for him to use against us, which is very scary. Tornadus T is also kind of scary. Cobalion, very powerful, especially with the close combat. Crocodile can set up set, uh, can set up with Moxie, so that can be very hard to deal with sometimes. But we've got some things that can deal with it pretty nicely. There's Tangrowth there as well. Uh, Suicune. Oh my god, if he runs a Crocoon set, I am going to be annoyed. If he runs a Crocoon, oh my god. And then there's Victini as well. Victini is going to be interesting too. And of course, Megalopony. Oh, Megalopony. And Sand Slash is an interesting starter if he wanted to go with it. It also is a really, if you know what Sand Slash does, Sand Slash is just, rock, uh, just rocks and spin, really. There's not really much else to Sand Slash's moveset, really. So, yeah, Sand Slash is going to be very interesting to see what happens with. Drapion's okay. Drapion I'm not really worried about. Drapion I don't think is going to come. To tell you the truth, the team that I'm projecting him bringing is Lapunny. Uh, possibly Sand Slash, maybe Suicune, maybe Victini, and maybe Sock and Electivire as well, but possibly Tangrowth could come too, and maybe even Crocodile is a thing too. So there's a lot of things he could bring to this team. I'm really interested in what he's going to bring, and hopefully he's not going to... He's not going to do me over in this uh, series, but hopefully we'll see what happens. But of course, if you enjoyed this team builder, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, join us for the battle on Sunday night. But until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and I am out. See you again. What's up, Chow Chin Chow? It's PH Games here with a little bit of a addition to the team builder video that I'm going to be making here. I'm going to be putting this at the end of the team builder video. I forgot to mention that we made a transfer last week on Sunday. So, yeah, Sunday is a day where you can make transactions, and we did exactly that. We got rid of Refuser, our. Um, our Vile Plume. We got rid of Vile Plume and. We are, it's very, very interesting because uh, Vileplume wasn't really doing much for me. It didn't come to any battles and I was always uh, was very negative about it. I didn't really know what I could do with Vileplume. So I was always worried about what I could do with it and how I could bring it to a battle and how it would work in the, bat in the uh, league environment. So I decided never to bring it and I kind of was never, I was kind of scared of it. Plus we're kind of weak to ground. So I decided not to uh, ever use it. I decided to transfer it out instead. So please welcome to the team our new addition for this. Uh, our new addition. This is, of course, Kidnapper. The uh, Kidnapper V Driftblun. Yes, Kidnapper. I love the nickname that I've gone for with this. Kidnapper is 
Well, it's sort of based on the fact that Driftblood, its pre-evolution, is a balloon that is meant to take away children in the night. It takes away children. So this is called Kidnapper. And it's a really interesting uh, mon to use. It's got, it's got the fog. So it's another defogger. It's got hex. It's got a lot of good ghost might ghost type moves. It can learn a lot of good special attacking moves. It's got a lot of other good moves too. And it's always explosion. So there's something we can always do. We can always explode on people. There's always pain split. There's always a lot of good moves here. And of course, there's always aftermath too. So if we ever got in a situation where, you know, last week where we had the Gengar situation where I got it down to 2 HP, I just didn't have priority, so I couldn't kill it. This is the thing. Aftermath is always a thing. Aftermath can take out the gang. Aftermath could finish off the Gengar. So yeah, Aftermath is a very interesting moveset. Plus the fact is it gets rid of our ground weakness and we have something to bring in against uh, people who decide to bring in ground types against us. So we have something here in uh, Kidnapper and I really like the idea of what we can do with Kidnapper. Plus the one thing I'm really looking forward to with Kidnapper is Will-O-Wisp. I love burning things so setting up a burn would be really cool possibly also we can set up oh it's got tailwind too there's so many options with driftland i am looking forward to this i can even set up a sub oh my god there's a lot of ideas with driftland i could set up a sub i could willow wisp i could do so many good things with driftland i'm not going to give away too much because i try not to uh, pull out sets and we might and we might actually try and bring driftland sometime i wanted to add this uh because the fact is it's important you guys know that we have a driftland on the team now and of course it's not coming to the team this week so that's why i forgot to mention it so it wasn't even worth me mentioning really but I have to mention it, and so I'm really looking forward to Driftblown uh, joining the team. Hopefully, Kidnapper will do some amazing things in the coming weeks, and we will all enjoy it. But until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games. If you enjoyed the entire video of the team builder and the transfer analysis, then you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I am out. See you again. And I just realized I clapped. Ooh, that's gonna be nasty. That's gonna be interesting to that's gonna be interesting to edit out. Anyway, see you again.